everyone welcome back to another video welcome back to all my lovely regular viewers and if you're new to my channel welcome so this is the set that i'm going to recreate today and instead of using glitter bells which i absolutely love i thought for a change i would use cjp i'm starting on the ring finger and i'm going in with my little clippers so these are glitter bells um extreme coffin tips which i absolutely love but on the ring finger in this set, I'm going to do a stiletto shape. So I'm just cutting the very, very ends off them and um, then I'll just file it so that it's nice and straight. I find that's the easier way to do um, stiletto nails rather than to, you know, keep cutting along the sides. You just take away the, the top of them and you get the shape very, very easily. So this set that I'm doing is going to contain a lot of extended nail beds and I'm going to let these little cutters do all the work for me. So they come in two different shapes. So this is the V cutter that you can see it cuts out the chevron shape for you and the other one is the smile line cutter. So this is the first time I've used them and let's hope it's not too bad but um, it is designed to do all the work for you and just make doing extended nail beds all the same and just that bit easier to work with. So as you can see, I'm working with CJP. These little pots are 10 gram pots, so they do come in two different sizes. They come in the 10 gram and the 25 gram um, pots as well. If you if you really like a color and you can go ahead and you can um, buy the bigger size. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking out um, the extended nail bed, so where I want the point to go. So you can see that I put the two points just right where the natural nail bed starts to end, and that's my reference point. So what I'm doing is I'm marking it out so that I know how far to bring the acrylic down. There's no point in me bringing the acrylic right down to the free edge and then just cutting all that acrylic away. And again, there's no point in me coming down a little bit too short and I then having to keep applying more acrylic. So just by marking it out, it is much easier to do it if you're doing it on someone else, but um, it's fine to go ahead and do it for yourself. They, these little tools will be perfect for doing your non-dominant hand if you're doing um, extended smile lines. They will just make your life so much easier. So I'm starting out on the pointer finger and this gorgeous color is called Tooth Fairy um, from CJP. It has a little bit of a, a shimmer to it and it's one of my favorite colors. As you can see, I placed the first bead just above where the natural nail bed starts to end. And you can see that I'm just bringing that acrylic down just past the little point that I made um, just to show me exactly where to bring the acrylic to. And then I've gone in now with my cuticle bead. CJP, it is a really, really lovely acrylic to work with and I don't work with it enough. And every time I do, I'm sort of like, oh, why haven't I used that before? I know Glitter Bells is my favorite, but it is good to try sometimes different products. So as you can see, while that was still wet, I went ahead and just popped the little mold or the little um, metal tool over the nail and just cut it away. Now I'm using the sides of it just to make sure that I get a really, really nice clean cut. So when you're using this, you want to wait um, just before the nails start to mattify. If you do it a little bit too late, it's not gonna come away quite um, clean enough. So I my advice would be to get the acrylic on and get it cut as soon as possible. So moving on now to the middle finger and again I went in with a large bead of acrylic and I just placed it just before where my natural nail bed ends. So you can see the little mark that I placed um, with my cutter, so that's my little reference point. I am having to go in with another bead of acrylic and this is only because I'm probably not using a brush big enough for the length of this nail if I wanted to do it in one bead. I'm using a size 16 brush, I absolutely love it. Um, I would find it really, really hard to go down to a smaller brush now. But as you can see, the acrylic is still fairly wet. It hasn't started to mattify, and I'm now going in with my little cutter. So you can see that it just gives me a nice clean cut. Um, so I'm just going to tidy it up again with the sides of it, and then I'll go in and place my cuticle bead and build up my apex.
onto the ring finger now and this is the stiletto nail so I'm going to change over the colours and I'm going to go in with the V cut. So it is slightly shorter than um, this other smile line cutter so I am just going to bring it down a little bit further and I'm just going to do it in exactly the same way. I'm going to place my first bead just where my nail bed would start to end and I'm just going to bring that acrylic down to that wee reference point. So I've reached the point where I marked out and now I'm going in with my little cutter. So this was not the colour's fault. This is mine and I did it wonky. Um, so I'm just going in with the sides of it again and I'm just straightening it up. I seem to be sort of offside a little bit. When I look at it from one angle it looks straight but then whenever I turn it around and look at it from the other direction I can see that it's not in the centre of my nail plate and that was my fault not the colour's. So in now with my cuticle bead and as you can see I place it just right before that cuticle. I have my finger pointed downwards so that it doesn't flood into the cuticles and I'm just pushing and patting it in around the side walls and then I'm blending it forward with the rest of that acrylic. Onto the little finger and in with my first bead of acrylic just before where the natural nail bed ends and I'm just going to blend it down to that little point, that little reference point that I made with the little tool. So on to the thumb now and I think by the time I got here I was kind of getting the, ha the hang of it. So I'm getting in with a fairly large bead um, of acrylic, again placing it where I always place it just before um, where my natural nail bed begins. This is the same area that I place it whenever I'm doing any forms um, because I call this my contact area between the natural nail and the nail form so I just, I think I automatically just place all my first beads here. So I am having to add up just a few extra beads just to get it down to that little point and then just in with my cutter and it's come away so clean. So yeah, definitely I'm getting the hang of it now. Um, I can't wait to use it again. Um, it just made everything so much easier. All the smile lines are exactly the same shape and they're the same length, which is what I love about these little tools. So in with my um, cuticle bead and just blending it back down into the rest of that acrylic and then once that has all cured I will go ahead and just crisp them up a little bit more making sure that the side walls of them are nice and straight as you can see I'm getting in with my metal file that is going to make sure those sides are super super crisp. I'm going to let you watch me crisp up the rest of those smile lines and I'll come in back in whenever I go to add the second colour.
So I have them all buffed, they're all nice and straight and crisp. And I'm just giving them a wipe over with some alcohol before I go in with my next colour. So the next colour I'm using is called Periwinkle and it's this gorgeous, gorgeous blue. There again, there is a very, very like pearl, sort of like a pearlescence to this colour. And I just love these two colours together. It just looks so like sweet. So I'm just popping it on on one side first. I'm just using my brush just to tease it and push it and pat it up into that. Um, corner of that smile line and then I'll spread it down to the rest of the nail so I will do this in three parts so I'm now going to go in on the second side I think the smile lines are just a little bit too long to do this all in one bead um, I don't want to be overly messy I don't want to have too much filing to do so I'm just keeping it um, very very simple And then in with the third bead, just placed it at the free edge and I'm just pushing it um, down to cover the full free edge and then I'll just blend it back up to the rest of that acrylic. I'm not going to worry too much if I get any of the blue on top of the um, Tooth Fairy because I will be filing over it just to make sure that they're kept nice and crisp. So I'm moving on now to the middle finger and every nail is done exactly the same so I'm going to let you listen to some music and just watch me place that acrylic and I'll come back once it's on. So onto the middle finger, which I've done the smile line in the V shape rather than um, the normal smile line. So I thought I would go in with something a little bit different. So you can see I'm just 
pulling out different colors just to see what they look like and i end up going in with northern lights again it's from cjp but when i first put it on the nail i just thought no it was completely different and even though i am doing this nail a little bit different i didn't want it too different if you know what i mean so i go ahead i put it on and then i just take it straight back off and i go back in with some of the periwinkle and then i end up putting the northern lights on top and i'm so glad i did because it absolutely looks gorgeous So now that all the acrylic is on, I'm going to go in and file and shape them. So you may have noticed that I haven't went in with any clear acrylic to cap these. Um, because I've placed them on as if they were core powders. So if I'm using just um, like a solid colour for acrylic, I would place it on as a core powder and I wouldn't cap them. The only reason that I would cap nails is if I've maybe not built the apex out an awful lot. An ombre or if glitter has been used that is whenever I would only cap the nails for the rest of the um, coloured acrylic I always place them on like core powders and I've never had any problems from I'm doing that there may be the odd time where I just buff in around the cuticle a little bit too much and I can just go back in with a very very small amount of um, the coloured acrylic and just touch that up and it doesn't affect the nails whatsoever if you keep in mind though that most of the coloured acrylic is made up of mostly clear acrylic which is a strength powder and then some pigments to give it its colour so um, that's one of the main reasons as well why if I'm just doing solid colours I won't cap them. Here I am just putting a little bit of clear over the thumb. I did buff away the apex and I did see that it was just getting a little bit too thin there at the cuticle. So just to build it up and protect it, I just added a little bit of the clear powder. But you can see that I haven't brought it any further down the nail than just the area that I would needed it. So to finish off the rest of the filing and shaping, I have went in with my hand file, I've done all my side walls, I've done my free edge and I've done over most of the nail plate. So I'm now going in with my fine 5-in-1 um, e-file bit and I use this just for refining things. I use it for getting the cuticles really really nice and flush and just for making sure that that whole nail is nice and symmetrical and that there's no obvious lumps and bumps. So I'm going to let you watch the rest of that being done and I'll come back at the end.
now I've finished all the filing and shaping, I'm going to go over and wipe them all with some alcohol to remove any of the dust and debris. And now I'm going in with a gloss, no white top coat. I wanted on this set um, the main focus to be actually on the coloured acrylic because they're so bright and beautiful. I love those colours together. So I just, I'm going to do some simple 3D um, artwork on the nail. So I've placed like a diamond um, rhinestone right in the centre of the nail and I'm going to do flower petals all along the perimeter of it. These are so easy to do, so you want to pick up a fairly wet bead of acrylic. You can see I drained out any of the excess liquid on my little cotton pad. Once I placed it onto the nail, I drained my brush out again, just to make sure that there's not a lot of liquid on the acrylic and that it will mold and shape so much quicker. So I kind of place it just in a ball and then using the belly of my brush, I push and shape it to fan it out. And then with the tip of the brush, I bring it forward to make the point. So to do the little petals on the side, again, I've went in with a ball, uh, like a ball shape of acrylic and I'm using the belly of that brush just to push it into um, like, a, like a petal and just fan it out ever so slightly. So you can see I've placed the second bead on, but I've went back into the first one. Because it, I am working quite quickly, um, I'm not giving the acrylic the full time to cure, so I can go back in and just give it another little push and that will just complete the process for me and um, will just keep the little petal shape that I want. This is what I'm using to adhere those larger rhinestones on with it, CJP Scripper Glue, and I absolutely love it. I will also be using um, my rhinestone glue for doing the rhinestone cuffs um, on the other nails, but I am gonna set these with an activator. It's a spray-on activator, which you can see me spraying now, and that um, cures that glue practically instantly and um, so that it's not going to move. So now I'm going in with those beads of acrylic and I'm just going to do some little petals all around the outside um, of that rhinestone. So just to finish off the little finger, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little rhinestone cuff. You can see on the middle finger there, I did a full outline of the smile line and pink area in rhinestones. And on the thumb, I go in and do some little flowers as well.
here is the finished set guys i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have you know what to do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that will help support my channel and i will be back with another video so take care see you soon bye